Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I will talk about uh, how you could cache uh, function in FastAPI. This is particularly important when function loads uh, heavy, uh, large uh, ML model, and you don't want to uh, load and spend time loading this um, uh, large model each time when API is invoked, uh, especially that model most likely would not change uh, uh, often, and uh, when it would change, maybe you could restart the API, and then instead uh, you would want function to execute fast and return cache data. So we'll see how you could use LRU cache, uh, how, how it can be applied for the function that works with fast API endpoint. Let's jump into my desktop and the example for this uh, cache uh, solution in FastAPI I'll be showing based on my open source uh, solution that I'm implementing, which is called uh, Sparrow. It's part of Katana ML and Sparrow um, is a solution that uh, helps to extract data from different documents, from images. Uh, it's work in progress, but uh, I'm getting there. And yeah, step by step implementing different functionalities. So if you'd like to follow uh, the, the progress, then you could uh, subscribe and either on YouTube or uh, on a GitHub and see how it works. And maybe in the future uh, it will be useful so you could try it uh, yourself for your own use cases. Okay, let's jump to the uh, pie charm. And this is the ML uh, model of Sparrow, uh, this model is responsible for anything related to machine learning. So in this example, uh, right now we're using uh, Donut, fine-tuned Donut ML model, which um, is able to extract uh, JSON uh, format data and uh, present key value pair uh, data format for the data that is extracted from the document. Okay, and long story short, th this is the uh, fast API endpoint, a sync function. Uh, it executes, uh, executes uh, post request through REST. And uh, over here, we're calling a function called uh, process uh, document with donut. In case if uh, if we would use some another model, uh, ML model, not donut, then we would have uh, another function call. In this case, we call this function and it's implemented over here. Uh, process docu document donut, right? And then this is the place where we load uh, processor model and uh, everything what we need to execute uh, uh, inference uh, using this model and extract data from the document. So we called load model method, this one. <clears throat> and over here we're using standard uh, hanging face API because uh, donut model was ported to uh, hanging face API, uh, hanging face infrastructure. And uh, for the convenience, we're using uh, donut model from, from hanging face infrastructure. So this model, if it's not on, on disk uh, for the first time, then it's being downloaded from the hanging face stored on disk. And next time uh, when you access the model, when you want to use the model, this model is being loaded from disk. But still, it, it, even it would be loaded from disk, it still would take time because model is large, around 800 megabytes on average, depending if it's fine-tuned uh, or not. Uh, and yeah, it would take time to load it. And uh, if you have multiple concurrent users, obviously <clears throat> uh, there would be time spent on the inference execution itself, plus uh, this extra time on this model loading, which you would like to avoid. And uh, the model would not, obviously, it would stay the same. It would not be uh, changed often because uh, once the model is fine-tuned, then it's, it's static, it's the same. And then if you uh, would fine-tune it and you would like to uh, push this new model uh, to be available for API, then you could just um, restart fast API application and this way cache will be invalidated and a new model will be loaded in cache. And to make sure that this uh, function uh, is being cached, uh, it's very easy. You could uh, import uh, from func tools LRU cache, and then you use annotation um, in front of the function. You annotate the function with LRU cache, and you can specify max size parameter. I'm using uh, value one, and max size um, is useful when you have input parameters to this function, load model. In my case, I don't have any. 
but if you would have parameters, then when parameters values are changing, then with max size you can control how many uh, snapshots of the function uh, you, you would store based on different parameter values. In my case, because there are no parameters, so uh, no, nothing is changing, I, I use just one instance, uh, so obviously this uh, saves um, um, memory also because just one instance is being saved. And after the first uh, time this function is executed, then result for the uh, result values for the processor model and device is being cached. Next on the next call uh, from uh, another user, for example, then uh, the same the same basically uh, data will be fetched from cache from memory, not from disk, and um, the access will be instant. And because this model uh, can be shared, uh, can be accessed by different concurrent users, right? So it's not specific to one user, then uh, the this caching approach works very well and uh, it helps uh, to save a lot of time on execution, on uh, on inference. Right, so this was a quick video uh, to show how you could um, load uh, heavy models in FastAPI by caching uh, function results with uh, LRU cache uh, annotation. Uh, in the next video, I'll explain uh, how you could uh, uh, start multiple workers uh, in FastAPI application and how you can handle uh, multiple concurrent requests uh, to the uh, FastAPI uh, application and, uh, for example, run inference in parallel for, for multiple users. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.